Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Virgo? Hope you are doing amazing. I want to wish every single one of you guys happy holidays. We are just about... Um, just about to turn up the house, right? <laughs> Not sure how you guys celebrate, but on this side, we celebrate the holidays pretty big. So hope you guys are as ecstatic as I am. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Now, your first card here, Virgo, is the Seven of Swords. Okay. I feel like you are currently going through a situation where you feel like your partner may be hiding something or they're not being completely honest. Um, there's a feeling of, there's a feeling of like wanting to test them, wanting to test the waters or asking a lot of questions to see if their story adds up. Um, it's like going around the situation to try to be able to see or get a cl more clearer picture of what's really going on. Now, the partner or person of interest has the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups could indicate potentially dealing with the person that perhaps is coming out of some type of long-term commitment. For others of you, you may be dealing with the person that is in a committed relationship or is married. Now, your next card here is the Ace of Swords, the Devil card, and the Five of Pentacles. Partners cards, Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and the moon card. Yeah. So there is a lot of like sneaky shit that's going on. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So you may be dealing with a situation again where you feel like your partner is not being completely honest. And here's the thing. What they're saying is if you're dealing with a situation where your partner is constantly like looking for petty arguments, um, they're not responding to you as quickly as you would want, or they only, you know, respond to you or even talk to you. Um, at certain times during the day, what Spirit is telling you is stop ignoring those, re those red flags, Virgo, off the bat. Um, because with the Ace of Swords, there is, and Seven of Swords, it's a feeling of them not being completely honest or transparent with you. All you're really wanting is clarity on the situation. But with the Devil card, this is a toxic energy. This is an energy where it's almost like reoccurring or it's constantly happening where you feel like they give you so much attention then and all of a sudden they go ghost on you or they ignore you or you're feeling like they're not making you a priority. And it's like you continuously keep dealing with this type of energy. Now with the 10 of cups here, again, this person, in if you just recently started dealing with the situation um, that corresponds with that of like them responding to you at certain times, not being completely accessible to you, uh, not being very truthful or honest or you feel like their stories are not adding up. The truth is that you're dealing with someone that could be potentially in a long-term committed relationship that could represent being married. Uh, it could also represent them being in a long relationship, like a long-term standing relationship. The, the five of wands is an indication of looking for reasons to fight with the seven of pentacles. Um, to string you along. They're not wanting to be completely honest. They're not wanting to be forthcoming because the moon card is here. So the moon is a representation of illusion or telling you or wanting to make you think that what they want is something long term when in reality, they're very inconsistent. So what they're telling you here is there's something of inconsistency that's going on and you're not paying attention to it, Virgo. Um, now, for others of you, you could be dealing with a situation where you're aware that the person you're dealing with is in a relationship, but it's almost like they promised you something or they made you believe something that wasn't or that they weren't really thinking of doing. So this could be like uh, empty promises. This can also represent uh, them telling you, you know, yeah, I am, you know, legally I'm married, um, but we have nothing, you know, we have nothing going on. We've been like we sleep in different rooms. Uh, we're just there because of the kids, that type of energy. And what Spirit is telling you is, you know better than this, Virgo. Uh, you're very quick to discern certain things. And uh, it's almost like you've been knowing the truth, even though you are in search of the truth or wanting to get more clarity or wanting to get proof for some of you guys. 
Um, but what they're telling you ultimately here is that should you continue holding on to this situation, you can't really blame other people for misleading you when things are just not adding up and you're not taking any type of action to either change the situation or to let them know, hey, I'm not effing around anymore. Like you need to be completely honest and transparent. If you can't give me your personal cell phone and you can only look me up or find me on WhatsApp or on Snapchat or on Instagram, like it's not adding up. It makes no sense. Um, so it's time you start paying attention to that, uh, Virgo, because I feel like I feel like they're deceiving you at the present time or they're not being completely honest. There's a lot of things that they're doing behind your back that you may not be aware of. But ultimately, what they're telling you here is you are intuitively picking up on this energy and you need to be honest with yourself. You need to be honest with the situation that you're dealing with to be able to cut through the toxicity of this connection. Again, for some of you guys, this could be a situation that is extremely physical. Um, and again, it's almost like them making you think or making you believe that it's going to turn into something more long term when in reality you don't even have their cell phone or you don't even know where they live or that type of thing. So again, it's like one one red flag, two red flags. OK, maybe. But after four, ten red flags, it's time you start paying attention to your intuition for go. I want to wish you guys the very best. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.